Hello, I'm back with another journal that I wanted to share. Um, welcome to Then and There. My name is Marcia, and I am sharing another one of my large um, fabric covered, soft covered journals. It's six and a half by nine, approximately. It's, I mean, with the fringe on, it's a tad more, but um, the frayed edges, I don't really count the frayed edges in the fringe as part of the measurement. Um, this is, as you could tell by the title, it's called Ode to Summer. Um, it is meant to be a summer journal, as if you were looking back. There are images similar to this one here on the front, which I have edited and altered to look as um, sort of like a memory or dreamy kind of effect to them. So that's where I was going with this journal. Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you about it. It has this cotton fabric on the cover, both inside and outside. It has a um, two pieces of cotton sewn together to create this closure, which I have put a knot at the end, and it is stitched, and it is stitched to the back cover. On the front is this uh, same fabric, which I dyed with fabric dye to create this color of a, it's kind of a blue green, which goes really well with this image right here of some flowers that I took a picture of and I edited it and kind of made it, like I said, look dreamy or like a distant memory. What I did was I then put gesso on the fabric and then gel medium and I did an image transfer using the picture. Hopefully. It's got kind of a little bit of a wrinkle, that, um, not a, a ripple, um, and it creates a pocket. I'm going to try to stop saying um so much. I'm sorry. I don't know how not to, though. So this side I left open to create a pocket. Inside is a eco-dyed print of some rose leaves, which you can journal on the back of that, and it's on some textured card, and this is just a paper that I dyed with the same fabric dye. Um, just for some journaling. You can journal on the back of that as well. That's here in this pocket. The signatures are sewn into the cover. On the spine, I have pinned on a charm that I made using some, this is some suede leather, a little jar here with, hopefully you can see some little dried leaves and flowers, a feather, oops, Get out of out of frame here, a feather and some beads, and that's just pinned with a garment pin, which you could easily take off. Um, the back is similar. I did do a bit of uh, collaged fabrics here just to add interest to the back. You can see where the closure is stitched, and I grunged it up and made it look aged and worn. And we open it up. You can see there are charms on the side. There's a leaf charm, a little tassel with a bell, and a tiny little flower. It is mostly these colors here in the journal, but I have added an accent color of this um, peachy orange color. There's a fabric pocket here. This is a Tim Holtz uh, light cabinet card of a young girl who's been swimming. Favorite summertime activity. A print that I did with some wildflowers and the dye on some graph paper and it's on an index card so you can journal on the back of that. I'll try to I'll try to get a move on here. This is a, a leaf print that I did just spraying over the leaf with the dye. You can kind of see it on the other side too. I laid some flowers on here and lightly misted over them with some um, of a more of a green ink. Some fabric sewn on here. Very grungy pages. I really wanted them to be grungy and dirty and this has some, it's coffee dyed and some of the fabric dye. There's a die cut of some wildflowers. Stamp and this says Dragonfly Dreams. It's another one of my photographs which I layered up with just an edging of some paper and stitched onto this which creates a um, journaling area and it's also behind is a tuck spot and this is a photograph which I inked around and 
did some stamping to create a collage. This is some avocado dyed paper. So it's a pretty pink, it's a real deep, dusty pink color. Some book pages, some stamping. This is another print that I did with the flowers. I just pressed them on with the dye on them. And then I put onion skin over that to give it a dreamy appear appearance. <laughs> I can talk. Another eco dyed print of a leaf. And I made a little booklet here. Another leaf print. This is a collage of some papers and a die cut of some wildflowers. And just it did some decorative stitching on that. Another photograph. All of the photographs, um, the flower images in here that are printed are my own. So they are my own property, which I have altered and edited and printed. <laughs> Just want to put that out there. This is a print of a leaf. Uh, not a leaf. It's a feather that I painted on tag. A little bit of stamping on that tag. I made this sort of like an index card with some stamping and some lines on the back to journal. I like how that sticks up makes a little tab. There's the leaf charm on a paper clip. This is a book page about flower arrangement and drying flowers. And I liked the coloring with that, so I put that on there. There's another one with some music paper, some leaf um, trim. You can very faintly, hopefully you can see the little flower images here as well. Some more of my, I call these my faux eco dyed because they weren't actually eco dyed. I used inks and dye to create them. You got a bit of an oak leaf here and a wild flower here. You can see a leaf on this side. It's a corner tuck here. A little bit of stamping on some, what is that called? Ledger paper. <laughs> Some grid paper, um, an old hymnal page. I liked this, A Day of Rest and Gladness, and that's, you know, it's what we look forward to in summer. This is a watercolor painting of mine that I, of a succulent that I put on a page, and it's, it's on one page, but it's folded so that you get it on, same image on two pages. I'll, <laughs> you'll see what I mean when I get to the other side if that didn't make sense. Um, this is a book page about button palms and I put that here because these are the button palms from the same book. Um, and there's space for journaling on the back. This is a little bit of collage that I did with some book page and I just outlined screen porch because um, you know summer screen porches it's a great place to sit and enjoy the weather. A bit of lace and some stitching. Uh, this is just made into a flip. This was a book page. It's talking about plants. A little bit, of, little bit of leaf imprint there, as well as here. Some stamping. Another eco dyed page. Some leaves. There's a side tuck with another um, picture stamped memories on there, and just a journaling card where I did some stamping. Another image, and I just did some collaged um, just fibers. This is some handmade paper that I made, some cardstock, cheesecloth, and seam binding, which has been coffee dyed, all collaged on there, as well as some a little bit of fuzz, but um, some cheesecloth cheesecloth around the edge. Another eco dyed page, a bit of collage of fiber, or sorry, fabrics and music paper. Lots of um, leaf prints in this. A tuck spot here with some poppies. This is a beach sunset scene, which I grunged up the edges of and printed the back of it and made it look like a post, like a vintage postcard. Put a stamp on there, a postage stamp that is. <laughs> Here's the other side of the succulent. As you can see, it was just one image folded. So you get it in two different places. The other side of the hymnal page. Another eco dyed page. It's just clipped on here with a paper clip. It has two different leaf prints on, on either side. 
This is some tracing paper, which I have dyed as well, and then I stitched these stars on. The reason for that is to go along with this, and it is a little collage that I made of a crescent moon and some book page where I highlighted some of the text. It says, The Moon Shone Down. I think summer nights when the moon is shining and you can sit out and watch the stars. That is one of my favorite summertime activities. Some more leaf prints there, as well as here. Another one of the book page images of um, flower arrangements and um, scrapbook paper. Um, a stamped tag here and a collaged journaling card. A little fabric flip. Another hymnal. Um, a shelter in time of storm. Summer um, at least in my area, summertime storms are very um, common. Another leaf print. This is a fabric flip. It's a very light um, fabric which tends to want to go to the center of the book. So I just have it pinned on here with a paper clip just to keep it from doing that. It's a very light, um, what is this called? I can't think, <laughs> I can't think of what it's called. Chan not Chanel, no. It starts with the sh sound. <laughs> it's a watercolor painting that I did of some dandelions. It's not the original, it's a print. Some more flower prints here. Another book page image, and I made a tuck spot with it and just put a recipe card index, um, recipe box index card in it, and it says fruits up here, which I thought was fitting for summer. A little bit of um, die cut negative on there. Another poppy, and I just collaged it with some book page there. Some more, um, uh, yeah, flower prints. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. Clipped on here is an envelope, which I stamped, or not stamped, but sprayed over the flowers to create the images, and turned it into two pockets. It's kind of a comparison type situation where yesterday was and today is. You can compare the seasons or your mood or thoughts or anything your heart desires. A little, uh, yeah, charm with the bell tassel and some fabric stitched on there. Some more of the flower imprints, some trim and fabric. Another image stitched on here with some scrapbook paper with like a, a wood grain print to it, some more leaves, dandelion image which creates a little tuck spot and it's just a little um, collage of some lace and flowers and a paint chip. Some stamping, on here you can faintly, hopefully you can kind of pick up, it's a, the prints of a leaf made just during the coffee dyeing process. And it also shows on this side. It's an image here of a, um, this is a special image to me. I just want to share. These are my children's hands and mine with a monarch butterfly. It, um, it landed on each one of our hands during a very important part of my life. And it was just a very special moment that I had with my children and nature. And I just wanted to put that in here. And right here it says magic happens. Did a stamp of a hummingbird with some fabric on the top. Um, book page. Another. Uh, some more of the printing with the flowers. This is the another envelope. And this is um, just some colored paper which I dyed and inked and... Um, just tore around the edges to make it look older. Great place for journaling. Some fabric here, which makes a flip with this book page. 
lots, as you can see, there's lots of room to write and add your own images. The other side of the envelope, this is a little card with some vellum over it, and I stamped Make a Wish. And it creates a little pocket with a journaling card for you to write your wish on if you choose. And this is a map, map uh, page, which I've just inked up a little bit. It is, if I recall correctly, in England. Some more printing. Another image. Some more leaves. And then a die cut negative there and another fabric pocket in the back with another image that I've stamped wild and free. You can journal on the back of these. This has a very light image of a wildflower right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is there. And it's a different, it's like a, a light green color. So that is this journal. And it will, of course, be available in my Etsy by the time you see this. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.